Hello, and welcome to this virtual lecture course on quantum condensed matter physics. I'm Dr. Andrew Mitchell, and I'll be the lecturer for this course. I'm a theoretical physicist at UCD Department of Physics, and my research area is in the quantum mechanics of many particle systems. In particular, um, quantum nanoelectronics, quantum computation, correlated materials, and topological quantum matter. All of these topics fall under the category of quantum condensed matter physics, and that's the topic of this lecture course. So it's a pleasure for me to be talking about something that I'm interested in myself in terms of research. I want to give an introduction to this beautiful and rich subject, as well as a flavor for, for some of these more advanced topics. Quantum condensed matter physics is a notoriously rich, complex, but also hard subject. In fact, it really contains some of the hardest problems in modern physics. But don't let that put you off or scare you, we'll really be building it up from scratch, from the basics in this course, starting from simple things and building up to more complicated things. It is also uh, a fascinating subject. It really describes the incredible variety of physics of the natural world around us, as well as giving us deep insights into new and emerging quantum technologies. This lecture course is designed to be an advanced undergraduate course or introductory MSc course. And for UCD students, um, it's associated with the module PHYC 40200. These lectures are an entire course of full lectures. They're not supposed to be uh, just bite-sized helpers. They're really meant to be proper university level lectures. And you should really watch them in order starting from lecture number one, and you can use the Quantum Condensed Matter Physics uh, playlist on YouTube to help you navigate through this course. For the UCD students, um, there are lots more resources uh, through Brightspace. You'll see uh, these lectures, but also uh, assignments and notes. We'll see sample computer codes uh, and uh, tutorial videos and all of that stuff as well being posted from week to week. So in this course, um, we'll study actually many things, but we need to start from somewhere, we need to build it up. And so the first thing we'll be talking about is this concept of more is different. This idea of emergent phenomena, when you bring together lots of uh, interacting quantum particles, um, even though we know what those particles are, they're basically electrons. And even though we know how those in electrons interact with each other, we know the laws of quantum mechanics, the emergent and collective behavior of a large number of these particles, uh, when you bring them together, um, can give totally new physics, and indeed give rise to the vast variety that we see in the natural world around us. And it's understanding this uh, from its fundamentals that is really the study of quantum condensed matter physics. So the first part will really be to understand the many-body problem. This is to say, how can we solve problems with several interacting particles. And you might already get a hint that this is hard, because if you look at the classical world, we know even the three-body problem of three planets, let's say, orbiting around each other, is actually unsolvable. So how on earth are we going to deal with many interacting quantum particles? When I say many, I really mean the thermodynamic limit of 10 to the 23 quantum interacting particles. How would we ever make progress there? Well, we will see that often exact solutions just aren't available, as you might have guessed. Um, but we can use our ingenuity and uh, cleverness and insights into the physics to uh, actually really get a handle on what's going on in these kind of problems. And that's why it's a fun subject. We'll also see there are some remarkable cases where you can write down analytically exact solutions or solve things numerically exactly. And we'll look at examples of that in this course. In the first part of the course, we're going to look at spin systems. We're going to look at the Ising model. We're going to look at the Heisenberg model. Um, we'll see how magnetism is uh, derived from such models and how it describes uh, natural magnetic phenomena in the real world. We'll try to study these models using mean field theory and spin wave theory. We'll even look at some exactly solvable spin models. And we'll look at exact diagonalization of uh, small systems. In the second part of the course, we'll move on to fermionic systems. We'll look at lattice problems describing materials where the electrons are itinerant and can move around, giving conductors, for example. Um, 
we'll talk about tight binding models, uh, and from that we'll understand band structure. We will uh, talk about interactions, we'll talk about the Hubbard model, for example, and uh, how these are much, much harder kind of problems to solve. Uh, we'll see how the spin model, the Heisenberg model, actually uh, can be derived from interacting uh, lattice fermion problems. We'll look at Green's functions as a way of understanding the single particle dynamics of these systems, how electrons move through these uh, solids and materials. We'll look at topological quantum matter and a lot of other things beside. So this is the basic outline of the course. Um, there's uh, plenty uh, to study. These lectures are going to be the main resource. There's no one book really that covers in all the detail that we'll go into here, um, all of the topics that we'll be uh, talking about. However, there are some nice books. Probably the best one I would recommend is this one. It is called Many Body Quantum Theory in Condensed Matter Physics by Bruce and Flensburg. This is a really nice book and one of the ones I would highly recommend for this course. Okay, so um, we can now uh, get ready for lecture one. You can progress to that from the playlist and um, I hope you enjoy this course. So let's get down to work. <laughs>